the dragon. This is the second video of a series we're doing about our trip to Branson. The first one we did kind of the ups and downs and the emotions. This video is about kind of the behind the scenes things that we need to do, um, some of the prep work, and we just wanna um, give some insight on what you do when you have like, you have to manage meals and medications and just it's kind of it's a crazy world when you are dealing with especially when you have three of us that have different diets and different uh, medications and supplements and treatments we have to do it's just absolutely insane to be honest there's a ton of work involved we're going to be going on a trip to Branson Missouri in a few days and um, we're going to be there for about a week I figured I should at least try to film a couple of things about my packing process. So as you can see here, I got my suitcase thrown out over the family room floor um, with other stuff I should pack. I recently got these packing cubes from Amazon.com with a gift card I was given as a gift of some sort. And um, I like to be very organized when I pack things. Um, like, um, that's just one of my quirks. Um, everything has got to be in its place. So I'm trying pa out packing cubes today. So I got one cube for pants, one for shirts, and then one for like undergarments and such, and socks and everything like that. It also came with this uh, laundry bag, so I can throw laundry in there. Then I like to bring my own blankets and pillows and such. I went and picked up all the groceries that I needed for the trip. So I'll show you what I've got and then I have to um, pre-cook some stuff so that I am fully stocked on food for the trip. So let's go. So these are some of the groceries that I got today to pack for the trip. Um, uh, wraps are a good thing to cook with. I like these fit and active flatbread um, wraps. Um, these are good because they're um, they taste like normal wraps, but they are within my diet restrictions, and that's really nice. And it's easy to um, cook with these, so I um, grabbed plenty of those. Um, now. Uh, Rotisserie chicken is a good thing to cook with because if you just take the skin, this uh, skin stuff off of it, you have um, good quality cooked up chicken, which is really nice. Um, and then um, I got these mashed potatoes. Um, these are good, like they're good quality mashed potatoes considering they're like a TV dinner. <laughs> Um, I like these one because as you can see right here they support the military which is pretty cool and um, they're good enough quality that if you put the right stuff in it it tastes like good homemade mashed potatoes and then you know gotta have my cheese <laughs> and uh, these are uncured beef hot dogs and typically I won't eat very many of these nowadays because they're um, a processed meat and um, I need to be careful with processed meats, but you know, um, um, these are decent and so it's like normally I wouldn't eat a lot of these, but this is a vacation, this is not normal, so you know. I wanted to be prepared with like a dessert for the trip, so I found this brownie mix at um, Taylor Made For You in Woodbury, and it's uh, brownies I can eat. And so I'm going to cook them into cupcake molds so that I have like a dessert to bring on the trip. So Good morning. We are at a uh, kind of a little suite at a, uh, a place uh, just outside of Des Moines on a family vacation. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about what a vacation experience is like for us. I was hoping to make a video actually before we left to talk about what all I have to do to pack and travel. But um, in order to make this happen, it was just a really busy, hectic time. And so I just uh, didn't have time to do it. I just needed to focus on making sure I had everything ready to go. And I wanted to just kind of show you some of the things that we have to prepare and plan. Um, 
to make a trip successful. I'm just going to show you a little bit about some of the medicine that we have and some of the food prep we do. I'd like to say that we're super, that I'm super organized when it comes to um, our medicine, but because uh, we're always just so busy in the go, I tend to just throw everything in a box. So this is my, uh, my box of medicine for middleman and I, and I'll just go over a few of the things that we do. Um, this is organic raw honey that we got at the Whole Foods store, and I middleman has a really hard time with uh, taking his pills, so I have to break everything down for him and, um, you know, open the capsules and crush his pills. And then I, we had a really hard time figuring out how to give his medicine, and we discovered that uh, medicine, when it's adhered to, to raw honey, works pretty good. Um, it stays on there and doesn't spill, and so that it's the easiest way for us to get it down them. Um, that or with applesauce, so we, we kind of do both. So this is his honey. Um, this is some of middleman's medications. This is the most important one. I have to always make sure I have this. This is Arnica, and he has a two forms. You see the pink one is a dropper, and um, I give that to him every morning. It's Arnica and a couple other remedies, homeopathy remedies, and oh my gosh, this has been such a blessing for him. And since we started taking the daily Arnica, his pain level has gone down significantly. It's not perfect. He's still especially struggling with headaches. The green bottle, they're little pellets, and we started, we've had that for a while. Um, our homeopath gave that to us, and that is kind of more of a rescue remedy for, like, um, if he hits his head or he's in a lot of pain, um, you'd put, like, three or four pellets under the tongue. And that, too, has been a blessing, um, since we've initiated that, that has really helped when he's, um, like, hit his head or something like that because his head is so sensitive. It's really worked well. Um, this is his pain medicine. It's not really a pain medicine. It's a supplement. Um, a lot of people who have arthritis take this, and this helps his joint pain, and I give this to him twice a day. Um, this is, you're going to find, if you talk to Anik and I, that this is, like, uh, a lot of people, this is kind of a, this is magnesium citrate, and this is, um... Anybody who's dealt with, with uh, illnesses like chronic Lyme or SIRS or POTS use this. It's also really good for people with head injuries. Uh, magnesium citrate is really awesome for helping kind of helping reduce some of the inflammation involving with head, head injuries, migraines, um, heart palpitations. Uh, for, 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 for my middleman, it's more for just um, inflammation from headaches and previous um, neck injury. Um, it's always important to have something that's good for your brains and omega-3s is really important for that. So I give this to him a couple times a day. And um, this is trace mineral drops. Um, he was having a lot of cramps in his legs and arms for a while there. So I make a like a uh, twice a day. I try to make a uh, a electrolyte drink and I put this in there and I use smart water and I, I also use um, aloe water that we get through a health store and I was almost out and I forgot to bring it so I don't know if we're going to try to pick some up or not because there's a specific kind and then nutrition is really important so we do a multivitamin um, that I get from off Swanson and you can get this off at a whole food store as well um, another thing I get from middleman these are some drops um, that we do this is the newest one I got I got these at TaylorMade these are, um, I don't know how I feel about these. Um, it's supposed to help with headaches and kind of uh, just keeping you feel calm in the present. Um, we just took him off for a while just to see how he felt. And I felt like with the trip I needed to just uh, start them up again because I um, just want to make it as comfortable for him as possible. I know that traveling is hard for him and a lot of noise and activity. Um, he's probably the least excited about the trip. Um, here's my fragrance-free lotion that I have there. And then I always keep some hydrogen peroxide handy. This is good for um, just sanitation purposes. I use it as a, uh, even as a, uh, instead of using um, hand sanitizer, I use usually hydrogen peroxide because it's safer, more natural. I always have to make sure I have a fragrance-free soap. For myself, that's all natural um, because of my sensitivities to, to uh, chemicals. So I keep that on hand instead of using whatever's at the place we're staying. So these are some of my medications. As you see, I got a lot of them. I take magnesium citrate as well. For me, it's for um, um, heart palpations, um, vertigo, um, just keeping my electrolytes in balance. Um, 
reduce dizziness and headaches. And uh, when I did some functional labs, we found that even when I was taking this, that my um, my magnesium was like critically low. And so my doctor prescribed this, which is called Complete MG. And for some people, this really helps with headaches too. And so I take a combination of this. I take it three to four times a day. I was taking it faithfully four times a day, but I've been able to reduce it to three and it seemed to do okay. It can have some um, side effects. It can cause some stomach issues. Um, so you got to be kind of careful with it. Um, this is a... Uh, I use uh, different kinds of bottles, like with coconut oil bottles and other things, to store stuff. This is actually a soul solution, which is like a Himalayan rock salt and water, and that also helps with pots, and I take that in the morning, and that really helps me. I, I take my magnesium citrate and then my soul solution first thing in the morning when I get up, and because I don't have much vertigo, except for in unusual situations like I used to. You know, it, it just kind of comes and goes. It's usually like if I'm um, in a place with a lot of lights or fragrances, I might have a little vertigo. That's part of the reason why I have the wheelchair, which is more for my balance and my legs. Um, but I also get it first thing in the morning. And so if I take that, at least it, it helps. And usually once I get that and get going, I'm feeling okay. Um, this is black currant seed oil. I take that for, this is for really important for my brain health. Um, I also take an essential fatty acid with that. And um, it used to be that when I was treating Lyme that my, um, my immune system was attacking my myelin, which is the, uh, the kind of the fatty tissue that's around your nerves and your brain. And it's common when um, with MS, that's kind of an autoimmune condition with which they do that. And it's just pretty common with people who have Lyme, like neuro-Lyme. And so I, I started out taking really high doses of fat and essential fatty acids. Um, my doctor prescribed that. And, and so I had to be really faithful about making sure that I take those so just to keep my myelin and keeping uh, uh, my brain healthy and my nerve tissue. So um, Middleman and I both take vitamin C, which is an important supplement, especially if you're on a special diet. Um, Enzymes, middleman and I both take. This is digestive enzymes for him. It's um, it's because of his stomach issues and history of candida. It helps him digest his food. He has, he has a pretty high sensitivity to food. For me, it's for uh, my SIBO, which is small intestinal bacteria overgrowth. I uh, don't digest food well. That's why I usually eat one to two meals a day, and that's it. Because my, my stomach is just has never recovered since my tick bite. Um, then I take a lot of different minerals for different things. Um, this is potassium. That's really important. Uh, this is a total yeast reduction. This helps with candida and keeping uh, my yeast down. I take a vitamin D, which I have to take because of mineral deficiencies. I have malabsorption and my vitamin B level was critically low. Uh, zinc. So I just take a lot of different minerals because of vitamin deficiency. This is vitamin D, which is like one of the most important vitamins um, to take. Um, vitamin D helps keep your immune system strong and it helps combat things like influenza, strep. And so in the winter, I especially take high doses of that. And then um, I have a methylation issue. And so I have to take this um, special B12 because I don't methylate certain minerals. Um, I also take one, I'm just, let's see if I can find it. This is called, um, I don't know if you've heard of methylation, but this is most people have a methylation. What it means is your body naturally cannot um, absorb certain nutrients. So, so for me, folic acid, I can't absorb it because of my genetic dysfunction. So I take this, and this helps me absorb folic acid. And that helps with detoxing. And, and so a lot of people with methylation issues also have trouble with... Um, um, they, they have chronic health issues with like Lyme and SIRS because their body just cannot detoxify. So it's important they have the right minerals for that. And then this is Ligapen. This is an all natural pain medicine I take. And um, I don't take any over the counter or narcotics or anything pain medicine because of my, my body, my sensitivity. And so this is all natural and it's kind of expensive. So I only take this when I absolutely have to, when like pain is at eight or above and I'm in tears because I just, uh, I'm kind of cheap that way, and I'm, you know, obviously I have a lot of different medicine I have to take, um, and so I just 
don't do it. All right, it's getting busy, and we're going to have to get out of here soon. So just to finish up here, um, I don't like to do processed meats for kids or for middlemen, but because we're on vacation, I did grab a couple things that fast and easy to cook for him. So I have some turkey burgers, which are uncured, and they do not have any antibiotics or anything like that. Not the best thing, but um, got it anyway. And same with these uncured hot dogs. Um, these are uncured beef hot dogs, organic. They got an Aldi, and just grab those. Um, again, it's just when we're traveling, it's easier if we have some fast foods that I can make for them, and we try to do as healthy as possible. I also boil some eggs for middleman, and so uh, we'll probably give him that for breakfast. And we have some organic bread, and and he likes his organic bread, and he likes to put a little bit of Himalayan salt on it, and that's kind of his favorite treat. Um, I was hoping to get some coconut macaroons for him, and I didn't see any. If I see any on the trip, I'll probably grab some, so he at least feels like he's having some kind of a something special to eat while he's here. And he also likes a like almond dream, um, like almond ice cream. He's on a dairy-free diet. Well, we are just leaving Des Moines, and we are on our way towards Branson. We left last night because uh, we wanted to get an early start. It's about a 10-hour drive. Here we are. We're uh, here we are, not far from St. Joseph, Missouri. We're at a rest stop, and we're taking a little break. So I am going to um, make, show how I eat lunch on the road, which is an interesting treat. So here we have my cooler. I just threw it in my wheelchair. I just bring uh, stuff to make a salad with me. Um, sometimes I don't even eat when I'm on the road, but I just want to have a little bit of nutrition. I got my pills all set up here that I need to take with my meal. Then I um, have my ginger water that I keep in this cup and I made hot ginger water before we left. It was in a thermos, it was still nice and hot. So this is the last of my ginger water. And I am throwing together a little salad here. I've got some um, greens from my garden, some organic carrots, some cucumber. I shaved a little bit of ginger. And I'm adding a little bit of fresh dill just to add a little flavor to it. I'm going to add just a tad bit of olive oil. Just a dash there. Now I'm going to add just a tad of venison that I cooked up. My um, nephew, Mike, I think, um, got it for me last fall. We froze it and I cooked it just before we left. So it's something fast and accessible. It tastes a lot better than chicken on the bone, which I have for my soups this week. So there is my salad that I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to top it off with a little Himalayan salt and some organic pepper. So that's what I'm going to eat. I don't need to eat a whole lot of food usually you know with my digestive system just as long as I, I at least get the ginger water and take my supplements and sustain my nutrition I do pretty good that's a little bit of how we uh, do meals when we travel we just uh, make do and and use lots of coolers and stuff so we can eat on the go and I can still get the nutrition and the food I need make it as simple as possible good evening um, it is uh Tuesday night and we finally made it to our destination which is a VBRO condo in Branson, Missouri. It took us about, uh, we left about 11 and we didn't get here until after 9 because we had some vehicle issue, issues we had to deal with and some stops to make. But we're here, um, we, everyone's pretty much sleeping now and we got everyone and the dogs settled in our apartment. A, a VBRO is definitely the way to go when you uh, need to bring your own food and medications and stuff to prepare because it's just so nice to be able to have a full uh, apartment or a cabin to yourself. Um, this one is a condo with a loft and it has a deck with a grill and a full kitchenette. And uh, so it's got two bedrooms and then a sleep out for our daughter, Annika, to sleep in. Um, so I... We got everything settled and I wanted to have a late night meal because I've been holding off eating all day uh, besides my little salad earlier. So I made a bowl of homemade chicken soup and some fresh garden cucumber with some fresh garnish with some fresh dill. So I'm going to eat that tonight. Yeah, it's been an exhausting day, but I think it's especially been exhausting for Annika and Mel who did all the driving. So I know they're pretty worn out and it, it was pretty hard on middleman too, but he he did okay, you know, we had to wait a little bit this morning to leave so he could rest, and I'm sure he's going to be wiped tomorrow, but 
Um, he, uh, we didn't really have much for him to eat. I had boiled some eggs and had a few snack items that he ate on the way. And then tonight I made him a couple hot dogs and gave him some more of his homemade chips, so he liked that. Um, earlier today, this morning, I showed you some of our supplements that we take and that I had to bring. I also wanted to kind of show you what some of my alternative therapies are because of my situation, my history of Lyme, and my diagnosis of SIRS. I'm a little more vulnerable, so um, I saw my practitioner right before we came and found out, you know, got an update. I'm doing really well overall, but I am having my annual summer flare up. So he's treating for me for a condition. It's called anaplasma, another bacterial infection that primarily comes from gnats and other insects. You can also get them from ticks. So I have my little protocol here, which is some information and notes that he gave and instructions. So I usually have, these are my drops I take. I'm supposed to be doing my treatments Thursday and Saturday of this week. I don't know if I will. I brought them along. Uh, it's going to depend on what we're doing, um, so we'll see. Otherwise, I'll either hold off till we get back or I'll pick a different time. And then these are my kind of as-needed remedies that I take. And the most important ones that I have is I have one for SIBO. And it's just a... It's, just a little dropper you put under the tongue and it helps keep my SIBO in check. I have not been as good about doing that lately. Um, so I have to be careful because it'll start flaring up again. I also have one that I do for mold because I'm really vulnerable to any kind of mold. Right before we came, I asked my daughter Annika to take me to Walmart so I could find a nice backpack that I could use, um, that I could keep like my Bible and my books and different track of different things like when we're traveling and stuff. So we went to Walmart and I bought this really cool hiking backpack. I love it. I love the fact that it has pockets on the side, like right here that I can put my water bottles and my ginger tea in. It's got lots of pockets and space in there for my Bible, different books. And I also like it because then I can put it in the back of my wheelchair so that when we're out and about, I can throw it back there and I can stick my cups in the side pockets and then when we're out doing things we can do that. So we have a nice place here and a nice place for my children to relax and just chill, watch TV or sit out on the deck and enjoy it just to kind of mellow out. So it's important to have that time when we're on vacation because it's just uh, kind of rough when you're dealing with a you know, pain and things like that. So it's just nice to have a place where we can just chill out, some area to, you know, some different bedrooms and area to spread out. And so it'll be nice to have that time and not just be on the go. So vacation for us, you know, vacations can be more stressful than anything else. So um, it's been a little bit trying so far, but hopefully we can have some relaxation time and then do a few fun things. So Anyway, have a good night. Good evening. It is um, Sunday night, late, and it took us 13 hours to get here from our trip. It was a very, very long drive. Um, Annika had a lot of back trouble, and so we had to make a lot of stops for her. She just wasn't feeling good. She started feeling dizzy and stuff. Um, and our middleman, I guess, managed the trip okay, but he's having trouble sleeping tonight, so um, not feeling so hot. So I'm just trying to, um, now that we're home, I've got to just get go through everything and make sure that um, our food and everything gets put away and get things organized for this week. So I'm hoping I won't stay up this late because I want to make sure I'm awake and help my hubby get ready for his high-rise job tomorrow. So I'm just going to finish unpacking here. You know, when people don't get enough sleep, we do too much. If people don't get enough sleep and there's too many things involved, it just kind of affects everybody. So something to think about down the road. It was a really fun trip, but thinking about um, just recognizing what our limitations are and uh, not pushing it quite so hard next time. So I'm, I'm glad that we made the trip and I don't have any regrets about that, but I, I do think that there's some things that we could have done um, maybe not pushing ourselves so much to try to pack in, like I said, so many things and giving ourselves a little extra time. So anyway, we live and we learn and it, it was, a, again, a um, just a very memorable, fun trip and hopefully 
when we look through pictures and videos and stuff and down the road we'll we'll remember a lot of the good memories we had together so good night everyone thank you very much for joining us today if you liked what you saw today please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and then please be sure to hit the subscribe button below and then be sure to uh, hit the notification bell so that you can receive notifications on all of our future videos. We are on social media and you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the username Joyful Mama. Otherwise, we will also link that in the description below. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you later. Bye, Bye. guys!